starting from scratch with this truck, uh, so it's really hard to figure some of those pieces out. Primarily, we're taking a first-gen truck, so like a 91 truck, and we're putting what equals a 2002 or 2003 drivetrain in it. And some things fit very easily and some things don't at all. So we've got a lot of help from our guys at Cummins because they worked on these trucks when they were new. So we have seven months from tomorrow to be race ready. A week and a half to have the thing fired up for media day. For that we still need radiator, intercooler, fuel pump. We've got to wire the ignition switch. Uh, we want to move the steering wheel about three to four inches to the right, which means we gotta cut the bracing out of the firewall and re-weld it. It is taking some uh, trial and error, and it's taking some fitting and refitting and, and reworking a lot of things, so um, that's been a challenge. I would say the biggest challenge is getting everybody to agree on a direction. There's been a lot of discussion and a lot of different opinions on how things should be done. To me, that's been the biggest hurdles. Building an engine, putting an engine together, putting the drivetrain, I mean, all that's pretty standard stuff. Assembling into the, the package that we have, that's where the disagreements come. So at the end of the day, we've got a direction, everybody's working together to get to that direction, you know, and try to meet our end goal. But it's a learning experience for all of us on here on how to do it, how to get the logistics done, what parts do we need to order, how do those parts go together. Do they go together the way we envisioned, or do we have to like maybe cut here, grind there? And there's been a lot of that. One of the challenges in particular with this truck and in the design of the thing is that they're retro in style. I'm tasked to, to not go the retro route with the wrap. I've got to use modern looking graphics on an old truck. To this point, we're really excited about the way things are looking. It's got to go through various levels of approvals, obviously, but within the next week or so, we should be coming up with a final design. We're going to make it in time, no doubt about it. The team is so dedicated to this, I can't see us not making it. So it'll happen, no matter what. If we have to put in extra time, we'll put in the extra time. I think one of the things that we're all really excited about is getting these trucks fired up for the first time. And that's going to be a huge The old Cummins diesel I like to hear. On the next episode. Whatever we do for testing and get them set up and know what we're in for, doing a thousand miles out in the desert and unknown territory is going to be uh, scary and exciting at the same time.